Alright, that little part. Now knowing more about this Azazel ceremony and scapegoats and stuff like that. Isn't it funny how people go around and they always say, He died for my sins. He died for my sins. He died for my sins. You know? And they claim he died for my sins. Okay? But they're not never talk about resurrection or transfiguration or transformation for your sins. Okay? You just say he died for your sins. Um, the weird thing is, ultimately, here here's a way you can really, if you want to, I guess you could say twist the word, okay? Now, I'm not encouraging this. I'm just saying this is a way it can be looked at in a different point of view. Jesus, or Yeshua, Yah Yehosha, or whatever, died and was resurrected for you. As the one that, but the sins, see, he's resurrected, so he didn't really, he don't really experience death. He don't really experience death as far as um, eternal, final, non-existence. Okay, so only one person, because ultimately, the one person paid the death penalty was Satan. Because he's the only one pen, uh, penalized. He's the only one penalized to death, eternal death. Uh, he's the only one that's actually, you know, uh, the main one that had been uh, marked out as going to non-existence. Okay? So, he's paying for the sins. He's paying the death sentence. Not Christ. Because... Christ or Yahweh, Yeshua Yahweh, is eternal and still alive and won't die. So, uh, when you're saying he died for my sins and you think about the Azazel ceremony and how everything is um, backwards in the Christian and Catholic faith, worshiping uh, Satan uh, backwards or uh, covertly or overtly, you know. They don't know any better, or they do. It's one or the other. Or they're just religious. Which, it's all religious, but... When you look at that, you can think of it that way. Um, died for your sins. Only one person got the sentence to die forever. And pay for... And pay, and he's got to pay for his sin, his own. And started it all, Okay. So, think about that. Sometimes people don't want to think of it that way, but Christ and Yahweh, Yeshua, lives on forever. There's only one person that got the penalized, and amongst others after that, but the first main guy that didn't, doesn't got no remission. He don't get no remission. Once he's gone, he's gone. That's it. Gone forever, okay? So... The only one person that's paying the death penalty for your sins, the person that started it, okay? So, the devil, Lucifer, Satan, or the serpent died, is the one that's going to die for you, your sins, because he's the one that has to pay the penalty. See, Christ was a sacrifice to cover the sins. But the one that d actually really dies for your sins is Lucifer, okay? Is the light bearer, is the fallen angel, okay? The tree knowledge of good and evil. That's who actually dies because he doesn't get a resurrection. It's a real death. So the real death is upon the fallen one, okay? And all his related beings.